So what we're going to do first is we're going to go through the first stage of the character design process. So what you do first is just a whole bunch of very simple characters. The idea being that, if, especially if you're new to this, you could do some simple shapes like I'm doing here. Uh, but the idea being that you use your time in this first stage to generate lots and lots of ideas. What you don't do uh, is spend any amount of time uh, on anyone. You, you do enough detail but not too much so you don't use colour necessarily, although what I'm doing here uh, is doing a layer of say light green or light blue or something that means later on I can just go over it one more time in a black or something like that uh, to just just to add a little bit of detail or to slightly change the character once I've had a look at how it's sitting just just uh, using the light media so you generate lots of different ideas all sorts of different ideas so animals plants inanimate objects little mythical creatures uh, all sorts of stuff so that when you progress along uh, semester you have a ton of ideas at the start you're not limited to the few little ideas that you may have done you're not limited to the one theme that you looked into or the couple of drawings that you did you've got to make sure that there are lots and lots of very different ideas and that means of course that you spend a whole lot of time doing lots of different ideas okay so here for example I've done there's a little weird horse there there's a little TV there's um, I'm doing a little like a little beach ball or something now uh, what shall I do here a uh, little snowman so lots of different ideas so what you need to do as well is uh, I should mention actually what we've done for years is uh, not do human beings which has worked out fairly well so if we don't do little human characters that might be really uh, a nice thing to do again because generally if everybody does little humans we don't really get much uh, imaginative design happening so uh, I haven't put it in the brief or anything but I would encourage you not to do human characters I would encourage you to just do just anything you can think of that's not human so little monsters animals plants I'm doing a little building here so you can see what shall I do here little little floating robot Let's do uh, something's going on with this little cursor. What's going on here? That's all right. Uh, let's do a little springy bottom to this as well. This could be a little square monster with big teeth, something like that. Loads of different eyes. Oh, that's not going away, that thing. Never mind. Good start here. You can see that we're doing lots and lots of different ideas so what I'm asking for are a few pages of this to start with do 20 if you want to but three or four pages like this uh, is generally okay what you would be looking at as you go through this course is just generally a week is about 12 hours worth of work probably at least that uh, so you would be looking at each little stage that we've split up here as being a 12 hour process so in the first week you're doing lots and lots of little I've done just a, like a little box B here here's a little trampoline about 12 hours for your first week so that would include lots and lots of little ideas like this the collection of material that inspires you so lots of uh, a collection of lots of character images that go into your visual research and you can generally work out a breakdown of hours in there so let's get another layer here this is what your next layer would be like just very simple very quick I'm actually working fairly quick here so you could uh, given that you've got probably 12 hours on this uh, which might give you six hours on this and six hours on the collection of your visual research. Uh, you could probably do more here and probably be a bit slower. 
uh, you could do lots of draw overs on different layers. Now on here as well, anything you're collecting or anything that you're drawing, what we're after is uh, what we're after are notes about your thought process. Now, uh, my notes aren't very necessarily very legible, but let's give this a shot. And also what I've done, I've done a lot of pictures in here that are very close together. So I write fairly large, so I'm already doing notes that aren't amazingly legible. But if you're going to do notes and your writing isn't very clear, just make sure you type them. So, uh, yeah, I might actually type them afterwards. But uh, try and find a space. Try and write about your design process. I've just said like, like here. I like the round. Yep. So I've said like, like. Uh, and it's not particularly legible, but what you could do is you could type it. So, week one, lots and lots of ideas. Do a couple of layers in a light and then a dark or whatever. Let's stay away from humans. Let's make sure that uh, there are lots of different ideas, lots of different uh, looking characters. Your notes are legible and you do notes uh, as much as you can. And stage one, you make sure that the effort is put into the right uh, ideas, lots of ideas, not just one or two.